this is a tutorial on how to install Apple Pie Infinity. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, first episode of my playthrough of my own mod pack. And, I love this new mod pack. I wouldn't play this new mod pack if I didn't like it. The part that I don't really like about it is head crumbs. I might install I might uninstall that and Flans mod doesn't work. As you guys see right here, this is the Flans mod, the version that I have in my mod pack. Doesn't really work. I'm gonna have to uninstall it and find a new airplanes mod. I might look I don't really know. Okay. So first thing you're gonna need you're gonna need to get yourself a browser. My favorite browser is Google Chrome, and you're gonna need to navigate navigate neck to technicpack dot net. Okay, so I don't need technicpack dot net for slash browser, but that's what I mean. But it'll just take you here anyway. So Apex Minecraft hosting, that's a very they're a very good company. They're uh, sponsoring. Uh, technic pack so go over to them and get yourself a server from them that's where my server for my mod pack that's where this mod pack server is hosted from so I just got finished and from uh, recording my last episode and right here it's apple pie infinity episode one it's uploading so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate with your cursor over to downloads and you're going to want to if you have a Windows PC like me I'm running Windows 10 so you would want to click the download for Windows link so if you if you have an OS X computer like if you have a Mac or a MacBook Anything from Apple that's not an iPad or not their iOS line or their Apple OS watch OS line, then you're gonna want to download this for OS t for uh, Apple OS 10 for their Macs. And if you have a Linux computer, that's a mishmash between Windows and OS X, then you're gonna want to smack that button to download it. So. I have a Windows computer, so it's going to be downloading TechnicLauncher.exe for this. So what you're going to want to do, you're just going to want to open TechnicPack. It's downloading all the TechnicPack files. And, well, you would have to sign into your Minecraft account. So you're going to have to sign into your Minecraft username that you would sign into the Minecraft Launcher with. And, since I already have this... You're going to want to launch over to mod packs, and then what you're going to want to do, type in Apple Pie, and then Apple Pie Infinity right here. Or, if you don't want to do that, you just go search, you go back to here, so hit, click on search the platform. Then you want to type in app, Apple Pie. Apple Pie, and this is first one right here. Apple Pie Infinity. Okay, so this is what you're gonna want to do. So, which this is my description for the mod pack. FTB Infinity with a little FTB Infinity with a little bit of changes. Subscribe to Apple Pie at YouTube.com forward slash channel forward slash this. So, just hit the subscribe button on my channel. It really helps me. It really helps me get noticed. And so, with you guys, this mod pack, so far, Apple Pie Infinity has zero likes. I'm going to like this mod pack because my mod pack. Five downloads, which means five people downloaded this mod pack. Fourteen runs. Yes. So, my friends and I were playing with me yesterday. It was supposed to be a collab 
but one of them didn't have their mic set up correctly, so they couldn't record with me. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have your mouse hover over, and so it's my pack. Then you want to go right here, click on click on this link, right click, hit copy. Now, what you're going to do, minimize that window, open up Technic Launcher, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to come up here, Mod Packs, Add Packs, or Search, you're going to click on that, and then Control V. Hit Enter. And then it'll come up to here, you're going to want to hit Install, but I already installed it and it's running right here in the background, but don't worry about that. What you're going to want to do is hit install. Now, if your computer, so to check how what your computer RAM is, you're going to want to go, if you have Windows 10, then you're going to want to go here, and then you're going to want to hit File Explorer. You could do this with anything now, but this is just for Windows. If you have a Mac, you're going to want to go up to here. You know where it says about uh, the Mac logo. You're going to click it. And you're going to want to click about this Mac. And it'll show you your processor specs. And your RAM and your graphics. And what version you have. Like my dad has a late 2011 Mac iMac. So. And then you want to scroll down here in Windows. Where it's hover word. Hover word like you're going to want to click it. Click this PC. Right click it. Properties. Okay. So you're, you can close out of that window now. And then maximize that you could tell from this page the view basic information about your computers so this is windows edition windows 10 edition home and then manufacturer of this computer dell this is a dell xps 8300 with the core i7 16 gigabytes of ram this part right here is what you want okay so my computer has 16 gigs of RAM. Your computer might have 8, might have 32, might even have a 64 or 128. But I would do 16 gigabytes of RAM is good. 8 gigabytes of RAM is okay. But if you have 16 gigs of RAM, you can close out of that and go back into the FTB launcher. You're gonna want to go into launcher options. Then you're gonna want to go into Java settings and memory. You wanna do half. If you, I, f I figured that from six from six gigabytes to eight gigabytes of RAM, my mod pack will run really well. But if you want a little bit of choppier version, you can do four gigs of RAM and put all the video settings down, or you can add Optifine to this mod pack, and then. It will, and then you could dial all the settings down even more, till it looks like a white screen if you need to. So, but you need a graphics card. Doesn't matter if you have an AMD processor or an NVIDIA processor. I have NVIDIA, as you can see, NVIDIA experience. So, what you're gonna want to do, and then after this, just here. Let me just disconnect off my server. Quick game, and now what you're gonna want to do now that you've installed this mod pack and edited your DRAM settings. First, let me just close out of that, and now for the first time, you're gonna want to hit play. Now it's gonna run through all of this settings and it's going to run the mod pack for the first time. So, there we go. Mod pack pops up. So, what I did was I went into Java settings and I updated the launcher window. Instead of 800 by 800, I upgraded it to 1920 by 10. So, it's a bigger screen. But, that will require a little bit more RAM and a little bit more graphics power so if you don't i have an external graphics card it's an nvidia gtx 
seven no not seven nine seventy it's from EVGA I think I think yeah it's from EVGA it's the wind force edition so I can get extra cooling power I can get I have three fans on that thing the middle fan is on the GPU core so I can rec I c well obviously I can record but it's so I can get that fans on all, all the time and then when the thing gets up to I think uh, 80 degrees Celsius then it starts to boot up the other two fans as needed so like when you're playing in a graphic intensive game like ARC uh, and GTA and uh, what's the other one called graphic intense games you're gonna want to have an external graphics card power so as this thing is loading up you're just gonna want to so this is about the fastest as it's gonna go so minus if you think mine is slow if you're running this thing on four gigs of ram my friend was running out of one gig or one gigabyte of ram took him an hour just to get past this forge minecraft this is the minecraft forge mod initializing window so what this does it turns on all the mods it loads them all up checks for any updates checks put it's initializing it's loading them up think of it like you're booting up your computer you have to boot up all the hard drives or your car turning on you you have to boot everything up it's a big process it's going through all the coding going through all the config files booting it all up checking if all the mods are compatible and there you go so you want to hit maximize but F11 by default will go to full screen so if you guys wanted the seed there's a built-in test world so survival mode cheat no don't delete that world you want to hit play selected world High encoding CPU settings. The CPU is not encoding anything. It's just uploading stuff to YouTube. That's not encoding. That's decoding. Okay, so once this world loads up, um, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go back and if you're gonna want to click on the world once and then go down to recreate and then you can do all the things that you want but the seed will be saved so this seed is for biomes of plenty if you just want the seed for biomes of plenty you can just get the seed and go into a biomes of plenty world and just put it in there because biomes of plenty is just a world gen everything else spawns in naturally so this testing world will not have everything because they made this testing world when I was when I just put all the base mods from FTV Infinity from it. And now we are in the world. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, just for a better experience, I'm gonna put it onto the Minecraft game thing uh, full screen. Come on. Okay, so now we are in the world. This was my little testing world to see if everything would work. And so far it does. So over here, just a testing world. I made an OP a applied energistic system because because applied energistic has to work with everything. And then this is all my stuff. It's just for testing. This is creative mode. And then, oh my god, it's the exact same seed! This was the seed that I found in this world! What the heck? I didn't even know there was a spider there. So, just a little tour around this world. There's a tinker thing up there. There's an uplighter and logistics thing over here that you could break. This is an island. So, you're gonna need to be safe over here. That's another island over here that you probably could just build a bridge to. 
This is an awesome island for a base. That is why I like this island. So, there's an oil thing out there. There was an oil thing out there in my base, but I destroyed it for in here. This is a volcano. This is from Project Red. There's nothing inside of this. It's really rare for me to find a map that I really like. And this is one of those maps that I found. And there's obsidian down here at the bottom. And then there's a plant. And so yeah. Please hit smack no not don't smack. Beat up that subscribe button and those like buttons please. And there's a little flower island out there. And then in here there are there are eighteen pages of awesome mods. So please like that. Please hit that like button. There is Galactic there's not Galactic Craft Galactic Craft mod. There's Galactic Craft in this so you guys can go to the moon and all that good stuff. Please like that. Please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more epic videos like my let's play series for this mod pack so bye bye apple pie signing off peace